Terra Luna is undergoing a massive burn and here's how it could affect your tokens. Make sure you guys watch to the very end of this video so you don't miss any of the brand new information and exclusive details that you are going to want to know, especially involving your cryptocurrency tokens and of course Terra Luna. Make sure to like the video, hit the subscribe button and join our free discord with the second link down in the description below. It's an amazing community full of like-minded individuals all on the same path to financial freedom and I think you guys will really enjoy the overall community. But other than that, let's get right into this video. Alrighty everybody, let's get right into it. Luna's classic pricing error has led to mere protocol exploits. What does this mean and what does this mean for the overall cryptocurrency? So an error on the pricing Oracle software for Terra Classic validators has opened a door for an exploiter to drain four synthetic asset pools from the mere protocol. They're going to kind of detail what this means and how this could affect you. So make sure you keep listening. A mismatch in the reported price of underlying assets on synthetic asset decentralized finance or DeFi platform mere protocol has caused an ongoing exploit that has potential to drain all of its funds. The exploit was observed on Sunday by governance participant Mirror Ruser on protocols forum. At the time of writing the Mirror BTC or MBTC Mirror Polkadot M dot Mirror Ether and M ETH and Mirror Galaxy or M Galaxy synthetic asset pools on the protocol have lost almost all of their asset valued at over $2 million. So this is something that seems to relate back to Terra and Terra Classic. As you can see here, Mirror allows trading on synthetic assets such as stocks, cryptocurrencies, especially on Terra and Terra Classic layer one blockchains, BNB chain, and of course, Ethereum. A pricing error for Luna Classic or LUNC LUNC made the exploit possible. The remaining validators on Terra Classic reported that the price of LUNC was at at point zero 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 one two two and was at the same time newly launched Terra, which was at nine dollars and thirty two cents even though the real market prices varied wildly. Chainlink Community Ambassador Chainlink God explained on Tuesday that the Terra Classic validators were running on outdated versions of the Oracle software. And this was likely a reason, of course, why we're seeing this type of uh, errors or these types of errors occurring in the first place. Now, again, getting all the mumbo jumbo aside, of cutting through the red tape and getting to the kind of center point of this, what does this mean for my cryptocurrency tokens? What does this mean for the overall safety of the Terra Luna blockchain? And you know, should I be should I be concerned? Should I be worried uh, about the potential safety of this? And here are a few takeaways from this. Number one, right? Uh, this is affecting protocols on the Terra Luna ecosystem on the Terra Luna blockchain. This is not affecting Terra Luna. It's Elf. Uh, well, it is affecting it itself, but it's not affecting your actual holdings of Terra Luna specifically. So you can rest assured that again, your money is still there. It's still going to be there uh, and it's likely not going anywhere anytime soon. What this does, however, mean is that even though uh, we are seeing some positive things come out about the overall Terra Luna ecosystem concerning the burns that they're doing, and of course the recent airdrop that was uh, kind of going on, one of the things that we're kind of seeing right now how uh, is a little bit of bad news, unfortunately. And this is kind of a good example of this where it doesn't affect the direct ecosystem in Terra Luna specifically, but what it does affect, of course, is the projects that are built on top of it. Uh, and when that does happen, we are going to see a few dips, guys, unfortunately, because the price action is going to go all over the place. Because even though I'm telling you right now, hey, this isn't something to be super, super worried about or be super concerned about, there's going to be other people on YouTube, other people on Twitter, other people on TikTok, every other you know social media platform combined that are going to say, this is a big deal. You need to be worried about this. Terra Luna is an awful coin, you know, FUD, blah, 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 right? They're going to keep talking and saying about all the reasons why you shouldn't invest in Terra Luna, of course. Uh, and again, I don't think you should invest in Terra Luna. I think that you should make your own decision on that. I'm never going to tell you guys to invest uh, apps with absolute certainty. I want you guys to be able to do your own research. I just make these videos because I think they're interesting. I like updating you guys on new pieces of information that come out. And I like helping people. I like helping the overall community uh, stay informed and stay up to date. But overall, this is kind of what we've been looking at as of late, right with that recent piece of news that has come out. Uh, one of the things that is interesting is that we do have some interesting stuff going on with an investigation right now with Terra Luna specifically that is happening from Korean officials. Uh, again, where that's going to go, eh, probably not far. There's not going to be likely much that's going to come out of that overall investigation. Uh, and either way, guys, I'm still very bullish on Terra Luna long term. What I want to do is pull up trading view here really quickly. And of course, take a look at what we can expect 
expect as far as a little bit of technical analysis goes with Terra Luna and the overall price. Now, this is, I believe this is on a Binance Smart Chain. Whoops, that's not the right one. We want Lunk, right? That is what we want because that is the new one that everybody is waiting for. And of course, it's not gonna come up because I didn't link it to uh, da, 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 BSD. Okay, so here is what we're looking at here. This is since the launch of Terra Luna Classic, huge pump towards the upside, obviously, but there's not a lot of volume, right? A volume has kind of fallen off or died off almost completely. And it's kind of unfortunate because this was the cryptocurrency uh, that essentially was supposed to be kind of the second coming, right? The rebirth, if you will, of Terra Luna. And now we've dropped so much volume off around these levels. We just haven't really seen a lot of push towards those higher highs that everybody keeps wanting and keeps expecting. And unfortunately, because of at I really don't see a lot of pushback in that direction that we really want Terra Luna to go. Now, if we look at the classic, or not classic, I should say, I should say Luna in general, Terra uh, uh, as you can see, if we pull up Binance USD, uh, again, that is the wrong one. Awesome. Very cool. Well, I gotta love it when I'm doing this live on video. And of course, things happen. There we go. So uh, again, there's just not a lot of volume right now, guys. If we can see a massive spike in volume due to whatever it might be, whether it's something on Twitter that blows up and a new piece of news article comes out, or maybe a new announcement comes out from the team, or maybe a trend starts up where people say, hey, remember when this coin used to cost $60, something similar to Dogecoin or even Shiba Inu coin, it's entirely possible. And I wouldn't really put it past uh, anything at this point for that potentially to occur again we will have to see let me know in the comments below what you guys think make sure to join our free discord with that second link down in the description below i know you guys will enjoy that overall community that we provided you guys really get a lot of value and benefits out of it but other than that guys that's all i have for you guys today i'm kyle with finance bro take it easy